When we make drawings in CAD, it is possible that at any time we have duplicate entities. Just like in this case, where there is apparently one circle. However, when we make a window selection of this circle, we can see in the properties palette that there are four. Aris Commander 2015 easily eliminates these entities that are duplicated. To select these entities, we come here to the drop-down icon where we find Delete. Choose the command Discard Duplicates. Where it says Ignore Entity Properties, select Layer and then choose the option Remove Duplicate Polylines, Vertices and Segments. Select OK. When we now make a window selection of this circle, we see that there is only one left. In another example, we apparently have one circle and one hatch. When we select all entities, we see in the properties palette that there are two circles and one hatch. So back to the command discard duplicates. We select layer and line color. We choose remove duplicate entities and click OK. Now we make a new window selection. We then see that it is a single circle and one hatch. This new example is different. We have a circle and above it an arc. They could be considered identical. However, when selected, we see in the properties palette that we have an arc and a circle. We can go to discard duplicates to use some of the options listed in the dialog box. For example, we can combine these entities so they become a single one. In this case, deselect remove and click OK. Now we can see that we have a single circle. In this example, we have two rectangles. Perform a window selection to check that there are two. By clicking, we confirm that it is a rectangle, which is a closed polyline, and this one just another rectangle. With the command discard duplicates, we can remove the segment that is common to these two rectangles. For example, this segment. We make a window selection. We choose discard duplicates. For that reason, we ask Iris Commander to ignore the entity properties layer and line color. We keep this option so that the segments which are overlapping become one. Select the first option. In this case, it's the segment. Select OK. When we move this rectangle, we see that the segment which was common to both has been removed. There are more changes that can be achieved using the command discard duplicates from Aris Commander 2015. One is to merge entities that are collinear. Here, for example, we have two segments. We can transform them into one. To do this, simply select the two elements. As you can see here, there are two lines. Run the discard duplicate command and select Combine collinear entities aligned end to end. Select OK. Now they are one. The same can apply to this also. We select, we see that there are two arcs. Select discard duplicates and choose the same option. In this example, we have a dimension associativity. Selecting these entities, we find that there are two overlapping rectangles, but this dimension is associated with one of these rectangles. We click and move one of its vertices to see how it affects the dimension. We see that it has no effect. However, if we change the other vertex, the dimension changes because it is associated with the yellow rectangle. So in this case, we want to remove the duplicate entity, which is the rectangle, without affecting the associated dimension. We make a window selection and go to the command discard duplicates. We choose layer and line color and remove duplicate entities. But in this case, we select do not modify associative entities and click OK. By doing so, we ensure that if we make a modification, it is with entities that do not have other associative entities. We give priority to the yellow rectangle. Thank you for listening and don't miss our free trial of RS Commander 2015 on our website graber.com.